Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Slept through the day, feeling uneasy, I push it away. Push it away. Last night was fun, don't feel like today. Feel like today, let's do it again, let's go on a day. Cause tonight I'm gonna. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I used to film these videos much more formal, more formally, much more, anyway, whatever, you know what I mean. And I always used to do grocery hauls and I'd intro them with- I blended family of six. Well, most of you know that we are not a blended family anymore and it's fine, life moves on. Also, peek the little key hanger that Kira from Fifty Shades Mom got me. Uh, <laughs> also, this is real life. It is like nine o'clock in the morning. I went and picked up an order and I'm bringing it back. Anyway, now these are more single mom family of two grocery hauls. So this is a Walmart order. I'm gonna put the total here. I can't remember exactly what it is. I'm sure it's in the thumbnail. I think it was like $150. I'm pretty excited to be filming these again, just because anyway, without getting into it, a lot of my joy was lost and it's back. So I'm really excited. That mom's calling me. I'm sorry, I'm filming a grocery haul. I love you. Anyway, everything is laid out behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around. I'm shaking and show you everything I got and everything will have prices listed down below. And I'm out of breath because every time I get ready to film a grocery haul video, like I said, cause it's usually a more formal video. I've been kind of including them in my vlogs lately, but I decided I wanted to do them separate cause some of my vlogs get to be 40 minutes long. I get anxious or out of breath. It's a really weird thing, so. Here we are. For anyone who thinks I'm putting on a show, I'm not. Because when I try to put on a show, I get really anxious. So anyway, here's my groceries. Let's turn around and take a look at everything I got. All right, so like I said, all the prices will be listed right around here. But first up, I have this extremely dented, and this is $8.38, okay? This is a little bit frustrating because I thought, well, I'll just pop it out like when I was taking it out of the, I, I can't move this thing. I don't, I need muscles. I. Oh, I don't have muscles, so I'm probably gonna be writing or saying something about this, because if I have another drug, I'll try and transfer it, but this is really awkward, or at least I need to get a good bit of it out first. So anyway, I love this diet cranberry juice. I usually do like half water, half cranberry juice. The only reason I don't do the non-diet is it's just a lot more sugar, and with Crohn's and colitis, it's not good for you, but I do like to have this probably like four times a week I'll treat myself, and it's not very much, but again, we gotta have something. Uh, down here, I grabbed this for Belle because I had bought her some Zevias, those, um, I don't know, like a healthier pop, sweetened with natural things kind of stuff. They're really expensive. So I buy those when I can, when they go on sale, sometimes they're like two for 10, but that's rare. So I did grab her some zero sugar cherry Pepsi. She loves these or cherry Coke, the zero sugar. If you guys like that, leave a comment down below. I'm curious. Also, these cherries are super cute. I think I want a tattoo. <laughs> Uh, I've got, everything's random. So welcome to my life, random. Um, I grabbed a can of cream of chicken. I did see a recipe. I can't remember what it is. I am hoping to start sharing more recipe videos with you guys when I start getting a little more motivated and inspired to cook. Just when you have gut issues and there's only one person eating and that other person will live on grilled cheese sandwiches for the rest of her life, it's hard. However, I'm doing some meal prep this week and a video is coming, so I'm excited. I grabbed two cans of cream and mushroom. I did get one uh, low sodium and one regular. I do that with broth too. Like I don't wanna go all no salt, but I don't wanna go full on, so. Yeah. Grabbed one can of each. Walmart is the best place, at least around here, to get this kind of stuff because it can be kind of stupid in price. Uh, I grabbed a bunch of those Good To Go bars. You guys remember I got them on my last grocery haul and I said I'll let you know how they go. Holy schmoly, they're so good. These ones were amazing. These are the blondies. There were two more, but then she came up to my window and was like, um, it looks like something tried to get into these. They all had little chew marks in them. <laughs> so I'm not even sure how good I feel about these, but they're fully sealed and there's no holes, so I feel good. Catch your breath. <laughs> anyway, these look amazing. They were amazing. I tried these ones. Super, super good. There's a lot of, there's a good source of fiber in them. There's not a lot of sugar in them and they're made with almond flour. So again, I'm not going totally gluten-free, but right now my stomach is not happy. So I'm just trying to find some things that might be gentle that also don't deprive me. Hi, mister. Are we having a big drink? Oh, that's my butt. <laughs> okay, go. Thank you. These were delicious. I did get three, I think I got like four, but one of them was chewed on. Uh, yeah, so these ones are super good. These are the double chocolate soft baked bar. Again, made from almond flour. I'll just show you it. So you, I'll show you what the label says. Uh, I'll show you the label. So not too bad, six grams of fiber. That's really good, I struggle with that. We'll talk about that later in the grocery haul. Five grams of protein, so 
I think they're pretty good. The only two I haven't tried before is the cinnamon pecan. If you've tried them, let me know, but I grabbed these. These break up into like four pieces. This is like two little brownies. So, you know, makes you feel like you're having something good. I'll let you guys know what I think of those. And Walmart was the cheapest place. They were like a dollar. 75 each and I think I paid almost three dollars at Superstore so they're still not cheap they're off limits I told Belle I'm like these are mine please don't touch them but I don't eat one of these every day so this will probably last me two weeks honestly uh, I grabbed a big bag of crispers I remember a time when crispers were cheap right you can get them at the dollar store I know it's a family size bag but there ain't that much in this family size bag and they were four something but Belle loves them and again I'm trying to have some half decent snacks in the house don't come at me I know crispers aren't healthy I'm just we trying over here um I grabbed a concentrated tomato paste in a tube because every time I need tomato paste I open up a can and then throw it out or put it in the fridge and then risk botulism I don't even know if that's real but or true <laughs> so I decided to grab this there's a few things that I do want to try I want to try and make a Mexican rice, although me and rice aren't friends right now, so that's a little bit heartbreaking for me. So I'm going to try it with something, but there's always, I want to try and make a, a sloppy joes for Belle, things like that. Grab some wraps. I thought these were the bigger ones, though. I guess they are medium, but I think I, I just expected bigger ones, but these are good because I want to try and make some uh, lactose or dairy-free quesadillas with them. I do have a hard time with tortillas if they're not cooked or crispy, so... I'm going to experiment and try to cook one and see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, I did grab the chips. Walmart is the best place. I don't buy these on every grocery like I used to, but I did notice like Belle was like looking for snacks and there's just nothing. I saw this video on TikTok talking about, are you an ingredient household? I think I kind of am. <laughs> if you open the fridge, there's lots of stuff to make stuff, but if you just want a quick snack, although that's not true. Quick intermission. Like, come on. There's a lot of processed snacks in here, you know? Anyway, she even said that last night. She's like, I know there's a lot of food. I just don't know what I want. You know, when you get in that place. So I bought these for me to try. I used to hate baked Lay's way back in the day, like late 90s. Yes. <laughs> uh, but right now I don't eat any of that because of the grease. I used to be able to tolerate it. Again, suddenly can't tolerate it. So I wanted these. I just want something to nibble on a little bit. So gave it give these a go let me know what you guys think or is there any like a good dip you could make that's kind of like with health in it <laughs> let me know uh i grabbed these zesty cheese doritos they're delicious and some plain lays so hopefully they'll, they'll be able to find a snack <laughs> um i grabbed two kits i love them when the french side is around i usually try to put the english side not that i don't have french viewers i love you bonjour <laughs> um but they are like two for something the price will be here at Walmart. I always buy the hard soft taco kit. I never used to, uh, but where it's just Belle and I, there's just enough in there that we have some leftover, six hard shells and six soft ones. So there's enough that we can make tacos the next day. I don't tend to make tacos out of these. I haven't had ground beef. I think I've had it once in the last month and a half. I've been living on chicken and salmon, which is fine, but I could use the iron. So I'm trying to, you know, we're incorporating food slowly back into our diet. Uh, but I did buy the fajita mix, which I've never bought before. So I'm kind of curious about that because one, again, I'm not sure about tortillas. And I did look at like gluten-free or other types of tortillas. It's like $4. It's like $7 for four tortillas. It's ridiculous. So I grabbed this more or less because I'm curious about the seasoning that comes with it. And I probably wouldn't do the peppers and onions because peppers aren't really great for me. And Belle doesn't like them anyway. But I mean, we'd probably just do cheese and chicken or something. So yeah, I'm going to try those out. Maybe I'll make them in a video. If I do what's for dinner, they're going to be basic. It's going to be literally what's for dinner, not I cooked these five recipes from Pinterest. <laughs> I just can't. Mandy in the making, she's phenomenal. I, I get all of my inspiration or a lot of it from her, or I used to. And she just cooks and cooks and cooks all these recipes she finds, and I love her. Uh, anyway, I also grabbed a cantaloupe. The last time I bought a cantaloupe at Walmart, it was actually really, really good. Did I say cantaloupe? Like, get a grip. It's a honeydew. We know it's a honeydew. Uh, and it was phenomenal, actually. And so I always harp about the produce at Walmart, at least my Walmart, it's not good. But they're like eight or nine dollars everywhere else, and I think they're under six here. So I was pretty psyched about that. I also grabbed some lemons, kind of a random thing. I did used to like putting lemons in my water. I think it's good for digestion, but I stopped doing it a lot because if you guys know or followed me for a while, I have an issue with the enamel on my teeth. 
and it was going away and I thought, well, maybe it's the lemons, but honestly, I wasn't really drinking that much of it, you know, like two or three slices a day in my water. But I also saw a recipe that I wanna try for like a, just a lemon pasta sauce. So I think that might be kind of good. And they were a pretty good price. I think that's why I got them because sometimes they're pretty expensive. I don't remember getting four, but anyway. <laughs> uh, this lactose-free yogurt, the more I did research on lactose-free, I realized that that doesn't mean there's no dairy in it. It just means that they put something in it, lactase, to help you digest it better. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I tried to look up dairy-free ones. They just didn't sound very good. I tried like uh, oat milk-based or soy-based yogurts or, almond based yo they just they gross me out um i was eating greek yogurt fine for a while and it still seemed okay i don't know if it's just kind of one of those things that has good bacteria for the gut so and again i was able to eat cheese for a while but i think where i've had such a flare-up and things have been going kind of wonky for me that my stomach is just a little uneasy right now so i'm just trying to pick soft foods simple things but i do want to try this because i'll show you in a second when i want to incorporate it incorporate with it incorporate with it lord have mercy this girl is gonna be 20 minutes uh i grabbed some salami i just love this i love putting it on a sandwich i do have to run to costco actually we're running out in an hour bell and i so i'll be filming another grocery haul today but that'll be a separate video but I do want to get some lunch meat there because she's been craving sandwiches lately. Sometimes I'll just eat the lunch meat, roll it up with a piece of salami and a piece of cheese. It's really, really good. Um, grabbed some peas. This is going to be for, I'm going to make little mini shepherd's pies. Uh, I'm going to use peas for mine and cream corn for Belle. I do not do corn. Corn is evil. <laughs> so this I'm going to mix with the cream of mushrooms. Look at that guy. Can we just have a minute? I mean, look at him. <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him. Anyway, I'm gonna mix. What I do is I take the ground beef, I stir in the cream of mushroom soup, and I add a bunch of peas, and that's my base layer, and then I just top it with potatoes. It's so, so good. My Aunt Brenda taught me how to do that when she was my saving grace when I was in, on training in Borden in Ontario. She was been really, and honestly, she saved my life. I know she doesn't watch my videos, but she's probably the, one of the sweetest humans on the planet. I was pregnant and she would just feed me all of my favorite foods because I couldn't eat at the mess. I couldn't go out to eat. So I love her pieces. And this is probably one of the best recipes she's shown me. Uh, these, I got these because it was like two for something. So I thought, you know what, let's try it. Green beans are one of the only foods that I can actually eat and garlic parmesan so it sounded good i've been eating them in the can i figured we'll give it a go this is the lactose free cheese that i bought to try i'm just going to shred it up myself and put it in a bag or just have a slice of it i'm kind of excited if it goes well i'll let you know if it doesn't you'll know <laughs> i also grabbed some of this i thought it might be good where bell was craving sandwiches and it might be going on a grilled cheese too the jalapeno monterey jack cheese I love that our Walmarts, I say that all the time, that we're getting more Walmart branded things. I don't know, because honestly, most stuff is equally, if not better. Like I prefer the Walmart Tex-Mex or Mexican cheese. I don't know what it's called, but it's way better than like Cracker Barrel or Black Diamond or anything like that. I love it, love it, love it. Here are Belle's favorite crackers. I grabbed her one box and I almost fell under the trap. You know, when you go online and it's like, well, you can get two for this, three for this, but it really only saves you 50 cents. And I didn't need, you just saw my pantry, okay? I did not need multiple more box, more multiples of crackers. <laughs> English is a struggle for me today. Uh, okay, so I grabbed her these. Again, if this kid comes at me and says there's nothing to eat, I'm gonna lose my mind, okay? I'm gonna lose my mind. Tell me if there's a parent, tell me in the comments if you can relate. <laughs> So I grabbed her a box of that, ta-da! This is what I got for me to try. I wanna put this in the yogurt. I'm a little nervous, very high fiber. I'm having a lot of issues lately that I'm not used to, especially as a Crohn's and colitis girly. So we're honest on this channel. I don't know what to tell you. But I'm getting those because I just wanna start incorporating a little bit. I'm not just gonna like dump a cup into my yogurt and go. You know, I'm talking a tablespoon, put it in my yogurt, slowly start to eat this over a few weeks. I'm hoping that it goes well. Wish me luck. Send me prayers. <laughs> uh, we're almost done. Last thing I got, third last thing I got. These are freaking fantastic. If you haven't tried them, I think it's like $9.99 at Walmart. Fully cooked vegetable and chicken mini wontons. Throw a handful of these in the air fryer. Just little crispy snacks. They're so good, especially if you want to make like some noodles to go with them. So that's kind of one of our favorite quick, easy to go snacks. I didn't get you nothing, Bubba. Your stuff's coming from Costco. 
uh, I grabbed these. Bella loves these curly fries. These are the McCain Super Spirals, lightly spiced. They're freaking amazing. If you've ever had the Pizza Pizza curly fries, they kind of remind me of that. And if you make sure you just cook them long enough so they're a little crispy, I love them. They're so stinking good. So we'll have that probably with fish and chips or something, or she'll have that. This is the problem I'm having right now, which is why I'm doing a meal prep video. So I have foods in there that I can eat easily that are gonna be good to my gut. Uh, last but not least, they substituted this. I did order the honey garlic one because that's Belle's favorite. I've never bought this, these before, but I did see that they were on sale and they were honey garlic and I think they were like $5 off. That's why I got them. We do have some wings in there too. So I just like to have some quick, easy options. She loves boneless bites, boneless wings. Every time we go to St. Louis or anywhere, it's boneless. I'm a bone-in wing. What are you? I need the bone, I like it. I'm guessing the sauce is probably on the side. Yeah, probably. So I'm not too worried about that. We'll just cook these up and I think I have something like some honey garlic or we have sweet chili heat sauce in the fridge. She can always use that. So, or dip them in plum sauce, whatever she wants. But again, I just wanted a few more convenient things for me to throw in the air fryer for her if I'm not having a great day or, you know, a great eating day. <laughs> but anyway, this is everything that we got. This does not look like $150, especially when you didn't get meat. Oh, that's a lie, I got salami. But yeah, Walmart. Now I gotta hurry up and put this stuff away because some of it's defrosting. We don't like that. We say hi. Oh, welcome to my life. Okay, welcome to my life. But we still love him. We love the babies. Give him a boy. You say hi. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Honestly, these guys are my saving grace. Oh, <laughs> sneak attack. Sneak attack, Busters. Are you bad? Yeah. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, for supporting me through everything. Uh, we're good, we're strong, we're women. And Mel and I are gonna be fantastic. <laughs> so is Charlie. And say hi to Jasmine. Yeah, I love my zoo. Okay guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. This is Friday, it should be going up today. And I love you guys all so stinking much. That's all I can say. I'm really glad to be here doing this again. Whew. It's a good day.